Isang maligayang araw po sa lahat ng mga nanonood at maligayang paglahok po sa ating pag-aaral hinghil sa charcoal drawing. Siya po si Andex, ang ating researcher. At siya naman po si Andrew, ang ating video editor. At ikinagagalak ko rin pong batiin ang mga may-ari ng video clips na ginamit para sa online workshop na ito. At ngayong araw na ito, tatalakayin natin ang mga dahilan kung bakit napakagandang matutunan ang charcoal drawing. At sa pagsisimula ng ating online workshop, ay inaanyayahan muna namin kayo na manood ng isang draw and tell video habang hinahanda nila ang detalye ng workshop na mapapanood ninyo pagkatapos ng draw and tell video. Tara, manood muna tayo! Essentists are a rare mutation of humans that can connect to the essence of life and universal forces and who practice the craft of shaping and affecting them. More commonly, this is used to affect the will or abilities of other humans or animals, making them stronger or weaker, quicker or slower, more ferocious or more docile. In rare cases, some essentists have been known to manipulate time, space, or the elements, even reality itself. In all known cases, someone capable of being an essentist is the first born to an essentist parent, with those born of two pure-blood essentists being generally more powerful. And so marriages are almost always controlled and planned, and have been for hundreds of years. Essentists are also very secretive, as there are so few of them, and they are often killed when discovered by their jealous and ungifted human counterparts. Behind many historic leaders or movements, revolutions or travesties was an essentist imbuing leaders or manipulating populations towards their goals. Many myths or legends were actually historical events with one or more essentist at their center. From the Roman and Greek gods, all of which were human essentists, to historical figures like Julius Caesar, Jesus, William Wallace, Joan of Arc, Alexander the Great, and so on. But as time went on, the purity of the bloodlines was more diluted with common humans. So the strength of the gods of old seems all but a distant dream to modern essentists. Our story begins in the 21st century, where an influential essentist couple were expecting their firstborn child. They practiced the common essentist tradition of strengthening the essence of the child in the womb to strengthen the powers of the growing child. And then, they gave birth to twins. Woolly mammoths, step bison, and other large mammals once roamed alongside people across Eurasia. Tens of thousands of years later, we may have a glimpse into this Ice Age world through the cave art left behind by early humans. Around 400 art-filled caves and shelters, predominantly located in France and Spain, have been discovered so far. Some of the most elaborate prehistoric artwork exists in caves in France, known as Lascaux Grotto and Chauvet Pont d'Arc. Cave art dates as far back as 65,000 years ago to the time of the Neanderthals. Though, Radiocarbon dating and other methods have revealed most art to be less than 40,000 years old and created by Homo sapiens. The majority of cave art depicts animals that humans would have encountered or hunted during the Ice Age, such as mammoths, horses, lions, aurochs, and deer. Some human figures and other symbols have also been discovered. Cave paintings were mostly created with red or black pigments made from rocks. Some artworks were painted directly onto cave walls, while some were first engraved into the stone with tools. 
Occasionally, the artists would follow the natural contours of the stone walls to accentuate an animal's features. Ever since the late 1800s, people have debated the meaning and purpose of cave art. Some scholars think cave paintings were created by shamans who would go deep into caves and enter a trance-like state, drawing animals they encountered in the spirit world. Symbols repeated across artworks may indicate that those symbols had agreed upon meanings among the artists. Thus, perhaps cave art also represents the earliest form of graphic communication. In reality, cave art may have been created for a variety of reasons. While we may never know with absolute certainty why cave art was made or the meaning behind individual paintings, these works give us insight into the evolving minds of our prehistoric ancestors and the world in which they lived. By one view, cave artists were prehistoric naturalists. Their detailed drawings may teach us about the appearance and behavior of animals that have long been extinct. But perhaps more significant, a part of our never-ending quest to find out who we are and where we came from, cave art may provide evidence of a time when humans were first able to etch their thoughts in stone. Art heals. Ask survivors of natural disaster, men and women injured in combat, a child with autism. The arts can play an important part in healing the body and mind. Research proves that art therapy lowers the need for pain medications, improves coping skills, engages the patient's family, reduces anxiety and depression, and cuts down time spent in the hospital. Art therapy can even save money. Art-based treatments save more than $1,000 in care costs per veteran, a potential $1.7 billion in savings. Traditional medicine is great for fixing what's broken. Arts and culture help heal the whole person.